All right, give us some commentary here. This is a Lee Enfield. Keep me out of this. Uh, he doesn't want to be in on it. No, I don't want to be. He's on he's the Brit and he doesn't even want to be in on it here. What's the model uh, again? I think well. I wish I've got the book. So it's a BSA. And you're what was it a pattern four or a? I think it is. Pattern four. And it's a factory made sporter. And it's basically, it's like a Lee Enfield Mark I style action. Is that what it would be closest to? Because, yeah. So we've got a abbreviated magazine, which is what, probably five shots. Yeah. And we've got a flat and bolt handle. We've got the Mark I style safety catch on the back. There's a little dovetail here in the uh, in the striker where it possibly had a peep sight at one point in time. May not have had one either. We've got the dust cover, same as uh, Lee Enfield Mark I or uh, Lee Metford. And we've got this beautiful checkered stock. Fairly short barrel, 20 inches. And really what's really cool about this is the rear sight setup. We've got uh, three fixed leaf sights, kind of an express style sight V-notch and they are at 100, 200 and 300 yards and then we've got a folding ladder sight that goes out to a thousand yards and underneath the, uh, flip this sight up here underneath it says SC see it right there, or short cone and that uh, refers to the kind of the breaching of the barrel, I guess, or the, the forcing cone of the barrel. I'll flip the rifle around here. I'll have a look at the, uh, the other side. This is kind of interesting too. It says, proved and cited for the Mark 7303 high velocity cartridge. So that must have been uh, reworked at some point in time. Got our 303 nitro proof. BSA logo on top of the uh, Knox form. No charger bridge, grip cap, sling swivel studs, checkered butt plate, and all in all, a real, uh, real pretty sporter. Bolting rifle. Okay. It's nice how the checkering they they go right over the uh, yeah. right over the wrist with it and everything. Eh? That would have been all. Hand, uh, hand done. Yeah. You've got the border line there too. You've got that border line, double border line. That's pretty. They knew how to do stuff back then. They had lots of practice though. I mean, BSA, they made a shitload of guns. Yeah. You know, have a look at the checkering on the fore end there. I mean, this is a hundred, hundred plus year old rifle too, right? Probably, so that's yeah. something to keep in mind. It's, it's not like it was built, uh, Last week, this is an antique, and it's still functional, just as good as a day as it came out of the factory. So, so there's the rear sight with the V notch. Actually, this angle shows up the sights pretty good. You can actually see the they got a line milled down the center with a, a white line in it, or silver, or something. That's white. I guess that's probably just paint, yeah. kind of to draw your eye to it. Folding express sights. And then we'll have a little closer look at the front sight. If the camera will focus, sometimes it doesn't want to. Put my hand up there. There we go. Got a finely checkered ramp, and then that uh, kind of a silver, silver bead. It really jumps out at you. And the other thing that's kind of interesting for Lee Enfield people is the safety catch. Put the safety catch on. And locks the striker. And it's right at your thumb. Just flick it down, bang, off you go. Anyway. Fine piece of English gun making, I must say. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> Here's a magazine for the rifle. It's the uh, old style. Kind of a Mark I, I guess a Lee Metford is very similar style mag to that one. And this is what, a four or a five rounder here? We'll, we'll find out. I'll try, uh, I'll try five just to see how it goes. 
get some uh, privy partisan here. If I'd have known this was going to be here, I'd have taken some of my own ammo along instead of mooching yours. <laughs> and she's five. Oh, might be a six. You can tell this is not my rifle. She's a six shot. We'll take one out. We'll shoot a group of five and uh, see how I can do with. Well, that's uh, one, yeah, 180 grain, is it? That ammo? I do believe. Oops. 174, okay. So I should use the 100 yard leaf. Well, you know you fired something. <laughs> That's an interesting trigger for a Lee Enfield it single is. stage. Yeah, it's it's pretty light too. I'm gonna change the angle on this. Kind of does get away from you a little bit. <laughs> I'm not sure what the target's going to look like, but uh, be interesting to see it. We'll find out. It only looks like four holes. I did fire five, so yeah. I'm not sure where the uh... ah maybe that's it there. Yeah. I might have cranked the first one off because I wasn't really I wasn't really uh, dialed in for the trigger. So that's probably the first one that I let rip before I kind of figured out. Oh yeah, it's a single stage trigger. <laughs> But that's, you know, for the first run, the first time I ever picked that rifle up, that's, uh, that'd do the job. And the, the sun is kind of glinting off the uh, sight, so it's, it'd be a good low uh, low light sort yeah, of setup. Good. But it's not bad, and it's not match ammo, that's privy, so. Be interesting to see what that would do with uh, those Hornady 174 grain round noses. I bet it'd pile them into half that. And it'd probably do better than that if Fuller had some more time behind the trigger too. Not shabby.